5.30 on the eve of the New Hampshire primary. Just hours from now, voters will be heading to the polls across the state for the first in the nation presidential primary. Tomorrow's results could see Donald Trump just make one more step closer to securing that Republican nomination. Thanks for joining us, everyone, for our special 2024 decision coverage from Manchester. Good evening. I'm J.C. Monaghan. And I'm Corey Smith. You know the campaign can feel like the Hunger Games at times, so that's where, <laughs> I, that's where I'm going to go for an analogy. You might say the odds are ever in Donald Trump's favor, but Nikki Haley is looking to pull the upset and shock the political world tomorrow at the polls. Voters we know some of them have already cast ballots, but the polls open tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and they're going to stay open until as late as 8 p.m. in some communities. All right, we have live team coverage, political commentator Sue O'Connell. We can't live without her, so she is here. She's going to join us to offer her take on the state of both the Republican and the Democratic race. We want to begin, though, in Derry, New Hampshire, with Mary Marcos about the concerns being raised about a fake Joe Biden robocall because it sounds like the president, but Mary. It's not. No, it's not the president. And the New Hampshire attorney general is now investigating this as possible voter suppression. And it's raising concerns around how artificial intelligence could influence the elections. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. This is the fake message many New Hampshire voters are getting, an apparent artificial generation of the president's voice instructing people not to vote in Tuesday's primary. What it does is reinforces a, a kind of a national concern that has been out there about the effect of artificial intelligence and how it might impact elections and campaigns. Uh, in negative ways. The message goes on to give the phone number of a former New Hampshire Democratic Party chair who is now running a super PAC for Biden's write-in campaign. Unfortunately, we have entered into the deep fake era of political campaigns. Joan Donovan is a renowned media manipulation expert. She says it will be very hard to track down who is behind this and why. The technology is actually relatively free at this point. There are about a dozen companies offering celebrity voices. While there are currently no federal regulations for AI-generated deepfakes, there are efforts to create them. We see a lot of this starting to happen, and we want to restrict it within 90 days of elections. State Senator Barry Feingold filed a bill that would make candidate deepfakes during election cycles punishable by up to $10,000 in Massachusetts. I don't want people impersonating Donald Trump. I don't want people impersonating Joe Biden. Uh, I, I don't think it's good for our system. I don't think it's good for our democracy. Now, the New Hampshire Attorney General is urging anyone who received this message to disregard it and report it to the Department of Justice. We're live in Derry, New Hampshire, Mary Marcos, NBC 10 Boston.